Hello guys, um, I just wanted to give you more of a, uh, in-depth, I guess, tutorial. I don't want to call it a tutorial, but, um, a guide on how to use the, um, Mad Cat's mouse MMO7 software. Um, so really, all I really wanted to touch base on with this is the programming, because I kind of had some trouble with it, and I figured it out, and I kind of want to share it with you guys. So, uh... I'm going to just show you kind of how I learned to do this, I guess. So, I'm just going to go over here to mode 3. And, um, you can see it's going to be purple. And so you click the, uh, mode button. I'm sure you know what it is. And it'll be purple. I have, I just set it to that. Um, so if I want, say, my, hmm, my precision aim button, that's clicking down on the D-pad. If I want to set that to, say, E, and I'm setting it that specifically for Minecraft, and I'm going to make that to where you go into your inventory, and then hit enter, and get off of that, and now you're going to do save and activate profile, and then you're going to go over here, and I have Minecraft open right here, and all you're going to do is hit that D-pad, and there you go. It works just like that. And really, it, you don't have to do it like that if you go into, like, say, your controls. If you want to make jump something, space is jump. So you can go over here, and if you want to make uh, button one, that's that button right there on the, um, it's this button right here. If you want to make that jump, you hit space, enter, jump. You don't have to write jump. I just did that for organization. You're going to save, activate profile. Go back to your game, and if I hit that, I jump. And I am using that button, not the space bar. Just in case you think I'm lying. Oh, I was kind of curious. Anyway, I'm getting caught up. Uh, that sounds getting annoying. Alright, so. Now, uh, that's really all I really had to show you, but I... I'm still trying to figure out what these are. The shift modes. I'm guessing it's just extra modes, but I figured if like it's if you hit skip or something. I'm not sure, but yeah. So yeah. Um what I did, just because I want to show you this little thing I did, is I used for the uh little scroll wheel thing. I just did this and I used the mouse. And if I wanted that, if I wanted anti-clockwise, I wanted that to go down, I just click the mouse, scroll down once, click enter, and save, activate profile. I'm going to go here, and it'll scroll. So yeah, it's just a little bit of help on that, and I'm not sure, I'll try and figure it out, but the shift modes, I'm really not sure. I'm not sure what this button does. Yeah, and I haven't tried doing anything with the anti locks, like changing what they are, because I don't want to mess anything up with, like, you know, anti lock. <laughs> but yeah, and these are my colors, precision name. You guys know all that. It's just if you do that and you hold the precision name button, it slows it down a lot, or it can slow it down a lot, I guess. I actually really like that feature. It'll help a lot with FPSs, too, like headshots and stuff. And um, you know your DPI settings. I usually I usually use three. It's usually what I'm. Yeah, I'm using three right now. I think I might actually hit two. Yeah, stay at two. And yeah, that's really it. If you guys have any questions at all, you can message me. You can throw a comment in there. I'll see it. So see ya.